Hello, Liberty family and friends. This is Pastor Andy Buchanan of the Liberty Baptist Church joining you on this Monday, April 20th of 2020. I'd like to share some words of encouragement out of the book of Acts chapter 4 and hope that it will uh, be an encouragement to you today. Acts chapter 4, beginning in verse 32, it says, And the congregation of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and not one of them claimed that anything belonging to him was his own. But all things were common property to them. And with great power the apostles were giving testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus, and abundant grace was upon them all. For there was not a needy person among them, for all who were owners of land or houses would sell them and bring the proceeds of the sales, and lay them at the apostles' feet, and they would be distributed to each as any had need. You know, in this day and time which we're living with the coronavirus and the economic impact that's being made, I just want to remind us to be sensitive to the needs of those around us, first in the body of Christ, and then also um, our neighbors in our community, those that we may be able to help affect in a positive way. And I want to encourage you, many of you, if not most of you, will be receiving and maybe have already begun to receive um, the stimulus check from the government. And if you're still working, uh, still uh, bringing in uh, a paycheck, I want to encourage you to consider uh, asking the Lord what He would have you to do with those funds, uh, to look around and see what the needs are, both within the body of Christ and then also with those that God has placed in your sphere of influence. Um, There are needs around us. There are people that work in, in service industries or other industries whose Jobs have been either been um, put on hold or their hours been severely reduced. And this is a time when we can be reminded and are reminded that we're stewards of the things that God has given us. And we want to be faithful stewards. And to use another scripture, to do unto others as you would that they would do unto you. Uh, it's, It's a great opportunity to look and to see the needs around us. And I want to encourage you. You can do that individually. Uh, If you see a need, you can meet that need uh, by yourself. Or if you would like, the church is also setting up uh, an account to handle benevolence needs and uh, meet some of those needs. We've had uh, a couple of needs already that have come our way and that we have sought to meet. And uh, if you want to be a part of that, uh, you can can give that way and just mark your check benevolence or uh, indicate that when you when you give your money or you can do it yourself like I say you can buy there are different ideas different ways that you can um, share and help someone out during this time and I guess what I'm saying is to ask the Lord to show you some ways that you can minister in this time and to be generous and to be good stewards to seek to be a blessing to, to other, others around you uh, these are challenging times but they're also times of opportunity opportunity that the Lord is giving us to minister in His name. So I want to encourage you this week as you're um, looking at being a good steward that the Lord might lay on your heart those whom you can be a blessing to and uh, seek to do that. I pray that the Word would encourage you today and that God would bless you as you seek to honor Him in all that you say and that you do. Uh, I want to thank you for the encouragement that you continue to give me by texts and emails and notes. Um, Y'all are a blessing to this pastor. And this being just my um, second going into third full month of of being pastor, I just want the Liberty family to know what a blessing that you are to me and to my family. And I hope and pray that these daily words of encouragement have been... um, helpful to you, minister to a need of your heart, um, and also the, the midweek Bible study and the Sunday uh, message as well. Um, I was tempted last Wednesday to cut out that part, but I, I thought, you know what, we need a little bit of um, need a little bit of humor to kind of break things up. So I hope you didn't mind me leaving that episode with a fly in there, and uh, I hope it might have just added a little uh, little lightness to your day that day. I pray that God will encourage you this week. I pray God's blessings upon you. And I look forward to when we're able to meet back together again. Uh, God's blessings to you this day. This is Pastor Andy Buchanan of the Liberty Baptist Church in Hartwell, Georgia.